This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, guys. If you want to advertise on the channel, hit me up, Jordan Tower Media at gmail.com. Well, we got to say a prayer for Gucci Man, okay? Because Keisha Kior, his new wife, revealed on The Breakfast Club today, while she snickered as DJ Envy asked her, do you guys have a prenup? She said no. And that you got to pray for Gucci Man because he's exposed, okay? Now, he's been on and off with Keisha Kior for like, eh, like seven years. And she did hold him down while he was in jail. Okay, so that's a good thing. Okay, and she did. She was a major part of him turning his life around. But he married her, right? This girl cheated on him. I'm sure he cheated on her too, but she cheated on him with Yo Gotti, one of his partners. Not even just like cheated on him with anybody. I don't know if I would trust it. Like you know, like see. A lot of girls, especially when you're entertainer, a lot of girls are opportunists, especially girls that like, it just didn't seem like an authentic wedding. Am I wrong? You know, like there's a lot of inconsistencies with this marriage and we got to, uh, we got to pray for Gucci man because you know, a lot of marriages don't last and he just exposed himself. No prenup. I would have definitely had a prenup. I don't care who it is. You don't know anybody out here. And all of a sudden they're that she's going on this like media run to combat that Kia exposed the fact that she had three kids in Jamaica, hypothetically. I mean, we don't know if that's true. Okay. She says she does have kids and Gucci has a kid and the kids live with them, but we've never seen the kids. And I know she says she wants to keep them off of social media. I agree with that, but you've never heard of it before. I mean, it's very, a lot of inconsistencies here. You know, uh, she says blogs paid to discredit her in the marriage. Nobody discredited anybody for the marriage to be discredited. I think they paid some blogs to blog about it so that she could have a storyline going on and possibly, have, you know, like more interest. Like, look at her. She's on a media tour, uh, media tour right now to combat those rumors. When we never heard from this girl ever before, we just heard her that was Gucci's girl. She messed with Rick Ross. She messed with Chad Ochocinco. She messed with French Montana. She messed with Rick Ross. She met Gucci, man, because uh, Rick Ross was messing with her and brought her to the video shoot. That's what really happened, you know? People can rewrite their past. Now, I like Gucci, man. Keisha Court, you know, she's just a girl hustling out here. That's cool. But that marriage was like weird. Like when if you watch it on BET, like there was people at that wedding that like they don't even associate with like Karuche and you know, it was a star wedding. It was for stars. Like it was a BET put the invitations out to bring everybody in. And uh it was weird. And then and then she also said um she could tell Envy wasn't lying about the snap because he didn't he didn't go crazy about it, right? But like She's going crazy about these kids being in Jamaica, and she's going crazy about her uh, her denying her sister, and like Gucci didn't even invite his mom or his brother. Like she's combating all that stuff, and that to me says like, oh, okay, this really got to her because there's probably some truth to this. Because if there's no truth to something, you don't even talk about it. And you know, she denounced her own sister. Like, her sister put a post out that week. She says it was just a friend that called herself sister. That sounds good. Like, you know, it's just like media training. She says the same story every uh, outlet. She went to Wendy Williams, Hot 97, and Power 105. And she probably did more. But, uh, you know, and then, and then you know, they come up with this story. They're, they're building a storyline for her to have... Uh, a career after this where you know maybe she has a tv show or something i mean we've seen this with many people you know that you know get famous because they're dating someone famous i mean i don't know we just got a prayer for gucci man because he has no prenup so he's exposed out here and that's what i was really scared i was like damn because like everything they post is about like money, like she, whenever they do Snapchat, they're like, oh, you blinging, babe, you doing this, oh, you got me a wraith, oh, you got me this, it's never like just regular shit, like, you know, if you want to see a good relationship, watch Waka Flocka and his girl, that's real, like, it's undeniable that they have a real relationship, 
But when your relationship revolves around things you have and everything, it's not real. Anyways, guys, I'm glad Gucci Man is home and changed his life around. Let's, let's leave it at that positive note. But uh, anyways, guys, appreciate you guys. I'll check you guys out on the next video. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to run ads, jordantowermedia at gmail.com. Peace.